the argument over which operating system is best, and which, when compared, is superior, dates back a long distance, and the answers depend on the viewpoint and user experience. On the whole, nevertheless, and in the opinion of both the general public and ourselves, Windows 10 remains superior to the updated Windows 11 in terms of operating systems. We'll give you seven reasons in today's video as to why we believe Windows 10 to be superior to Windows 11. So let's get started right away. If we can point out a single reason for an individual not to upgrade to Windows 11, we'd pick the hardware requirements. The hardware requirements for Windows 11 is a significant step up for more than a few individuals, especially when you realize how in order to run the operating system, you'll need an 8th Gen Intel or Zen 2 AMD CPU with a TPM 2.0 chip, if you want to use the operating system to their fullest extent. And if that wasn't enough, your CPU also needs to have support for secure boot. Now yes, we understand how the CPU requirements aren't exactly over the top or anything, a surprising number of people to this day are running considerably older hardware than Microsoft's requirement for Windows 11. If you happen to be one of them, you pretty much need to say goodbye to your old PC and get yourself a new one. Otherwise, you're forced to stay with Windows 10, which isn't as bad as people might lead you to believe. Being a relatively new operating system, it's not unexpected for Windows 11 to come with a few bugs and glitches here and there but it doesn't make the experience any better. To put things into perspective, Windows 10 was launched back in 2015, and yes, it was buggy, but they quickly overcame those bugs and set a standard. Windows 11, while being fresh out of the oven, comes with a ton of missing features, a bag full of bugs, and a constantly evolving compatibility issue in terms of both hardware and software. Basically, if you prefer a PC experience that's not riddled with bugs and glitches and suffers from a general lack of optimization, Windows 10 would be the optimum choice. Apart from aesthetic values in terms of usefulness, the Windows 11 start menu is not as helpful as it was in its predecessors. For instance, it doesn't show you your most used or recently installed apps, but instead prefers to show apps that Windows 11 wants you to use. Apps like Microsoft 365, Photos, Microsoft Store, and so on are often highlighted, minimizing the feeling and freedom of customization. Windows 10 Start Menu, on the other hand, is simply better, as apart from being able to quickly launch your most used or recently installed apps. You can also get more info about the weather or get important news highlights straight through your Start Menu tiles. Let's say you decided to get yourself a new laptop, and unfortunately, it comes pre-installed with Windows 11's mode, or more commonly known as Safe Mode. While Yes's mode is particularly designed to take care of your cybersecurity issues and keep your hardware performing at its optimal level, there are drawbacks and major ones at that. You see, while using this mode, you simply cannot install third-party apps. You can't run command lines as well, nor can you edit the Windows registry. Now, even if you decided to leave his mode, there are a few features from Windows that are not available by default. For example, you might notice that the group policy is missing from Windows 11 Home Edition. Aside from that, when you decide to change even the simplest settings such as choosing a new default app, it's more complicated in Windows 11. For example, when you try to set a default app for all photos on your computer, you have to manually set the app as the default one for opening different formats such as JPG, PNG, TIFF, NEF, and everything in between. In case you didn't know, Windows 11 was not supposed to be Windows 11, but rather a new version and a substantial update to Windows 10 called Windows 10 Sun Valley Update. As it goes, Microsoft decided to pull a fast one and renamed the update to Windows 11, pretty much meaning Windows 11 is actually Windows 10 in disguise. Except for a few features, you can find almost everything on Windows 10 that's on Windows 11. Why even bother? Up until Microsoft delivers on the promised platform differentiating features like Android app support and such, we honestly don't see a reason why anyone would want to upgrade to Windows 11. The incentive just isn't there. Now for the gamers, you might be lulled into getting Windows 11 with the promise of getting bigger and better gaming features. Well, guess what? There are gaming features in Windows 11 true, but they aren't anything new. 
With Microsoft calling Windows 11 the best of gaming, the company packed a ton of cool gaming-centric features to back up that claim, such as auto HDR, direct storage, or a deeper Xbox app integration. Now here's the fun part. All these gaming features are already on Windows 10, coming soon in one form or another. Long story short, if you're hoping to get a substantial boost in video game performance through Windows 11, you might be disappointed. Finally, we're already aware of how by now, we don't have any way to escape ads regardless of the device or the operating system. And if that wasn't bad enough, Windows 11 takes it to a whole new level by producing an overwhelmingly unnecessary amount of ads. Though Microsoft claims how it's doing its best to personalize them, it doesn't seem to be improving anything anytime soon. With Windows 11, you cannot escape ads no matter what, since the OS displays its ads in the Start menu, Lock screen, Notifications, Widgets, Settings, and everywhere in between. While there is a way to mitigate these, it's not as straightforward as it should be. Don't get us wrong, Microsoft indeed got a ton of things right with Windows 11 such as a beautiful design, useful features, and a lot more that makes it feel like a free upgrade. But as we've talked about, there is still tons of room for improvement, and up to that point, we don't recommend using Windows 11. Let's hope Microsoft fixes these issues and makes switching to Windows 11 worthwhile. In the meantime, what operating system are you using and why? Do let us know, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.